Alright, here's an update on the kitchen 10 gallon and family room 12, 29 gallon. So, I think I already did a video on these guys. I don't think I have. Um, like I said, I moved the crib pair down here. I didn't ever get a video of these guys. Or at least not well. Uh, they really look nice. They didn't breed for me though. I had them in the breeding tank for like over a month or two, no over two months and they never bred I was kinda pissed off cause they said they were easy to breed I did everything people said and they didn't breed maybe they're too old they're, they're still really nice fish yeah uh... clown pleco somewhere in that cave let's see like that oh I like that that's a nice guppy where's my pitch black pair there we go pitch black there's the male Females back there. Let me try and zoom in on her. She's nice. All right. Uh, she where'd she go? She has been pregnant for a while. She hasn't given birth though. It's kind of weird. Maybe she has. They just ate it. Oh well. I'm gonna go to 29 gal. All right. Just sit right here. Uh, let's see. Male beta's doing fine. I put some zucchini in it, and then it didn't sink, and they didn't find it, and it fungus. So when I water change today, I'm going to get that out, because it looks really creepy. Uh, sponge filter is pretty dirty. It's only been in here for a while. Still, it's pretty dirty, and it's a gigantic sponge filter for 29 gallons. I mean, it's ridiculously oversized. Oh, dang it. I was just about to get a good shot of the male cockatoo Well, anyway, there's a female pisto that was upstairs. She was the less dominant one, so I moved her down here in the peaceful community. The male peacock, Gudrun Gobi, keeps thinking it's one of his species. I don't know if he thinks it's a male or female, but he keeps like following her and just, I don't know. Uh, Carcaturi. I love saying that, it's just funny. My friend just keeps saying that over and over. I told him once, and then he's just like, a pistogramma cacatoidi, something like that. Uh, Anubius. The, uh, the roofs haven't grown in very much. They're, they're growing, though. Uh, looks really nice. Definitely should get some Anubius. They grow really slowly if you don't grow them uh, above water. But, still a nice fish, and it's easy to propagate. Once it gets pretty big. Neon Tetra School. Doing pretty well. Guppy. I forgot to move him out of here. I'll do it later. Uh, what else? Amazon Sword is humongous now. The other one hasn't grown that much. And the Utia doesn't grow very fast. This one hasn't grown any fast. If it grows by runners, can you tell me? Because I'm not totally sure. I think it does. I'm not completely sure. Let's see, I'm thinking about getting a bigger piece of driftwood for this tank when I get back so it can stick out. Uh, lemon tetras. Great fish. Easy, hearty. I put that, I was answering a question on Yahoo Answers about fish because I, I just do that. It's fun how people with fish stuff without my blog. Um, so yeah, these guys, great beginner fish if you need, if you're not a beginner, or a beginner, I mean. Uh, let's see, what else? She is nice. Uh, if you see an Epistogramma uh, Gazi, or Epistogramma Cacatoide, or pretty much any Episto female, and you see it's gold, and you buy it thinking, oh, it's going to stay like that forever and be great in my community tank. Yeah, it can be pretty good in your community tank, but it won't stay gold forever. It's just breeding colors. Let's see. That's about it for this video. Uh, I just gonna do a quick shot of my cabinet. It's a bit messy, but it holds my stuff. Some salt. My filter pads for my old filter, which is outside. In previous videos, I had to take it out because it wasn't working very well in the low water. So I got that sponge filter. It looks pretty cool. It actually does really look pretty cool, isn't it? Deep blue pro sponge. It's 
Ah, it's been nice sponge. Uh, I took the pot out. I think I'm gonna put it upstairs. Uh, some food, some stuff in there. A little drawer. I really have no idea what's in there right now. Okay. Here's, I'm gonna do a short little thing on gang valves. They are really useful. They're kind of like T-valves, except multiple. Like, uh, Loctite. This one's pretty good. I like it. It's a little bit confusing at first, but... Uh, you just turn the knobs on this thing. It has, what, five outputs? Or, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Five and a half outputs, because there's one over that side. Or that side. Or you can put more air or another outlet on it. Uh... Gang valves are really useful. You can use them for water changes on multiple tanks if you want to do it real slow. You can do it on regular, like reg, uh, what's supposed to be made for, technically, uh, like uh, putting air on a big tank or a small tank. Like uh, I have it up here, the same one. I bought two. It's like seven bucks. I'm gonna try and get that. Uh, flip it right side up. So right there, I have, I had two air pumps on it. Uh, I don't have that many air controlled things on in here, but all I have to do is turn this knob right here, and that sponge filter stops. Actually, I have no idea where it went. Is that what the? Oh wait, no, it's off. See, it's still confusing on this thing. So I can just turn that off, turn this on. And then that sponge filter goes back on. I think they've been eating off of that. I need some shrimp to clean that. I think I'm going to do some sh cherry shrimp. They looked cool. Duckweed's not doing so well. Bamboo's doing great, though. So, gang valve. Definitely get one of these if you have a lot of things that you like controlling air. Like, if you have a 20-gallon long or a 20-gallon high or just like a 75-gallon or something, just get at least one of these if you like air powered things like those scuba divers, or the treasure chests, or the uh, clams, I think. Yeah, clams. Or just a whole bunch of sponge filters that if you want it. Uh, so, yeah, definitely get some of that. Some of these. Um, what else? Great. Oh, I'm going to be, once I get all my fish stuff in the garage, uh, I'll be using it for water changes and air so I have a diagram of this I don't know what happened to that uh, so basically I'll try to explain it as best I can probably won't work very well though uh, let me zoom out real quick so basically I'll have one rack or at least one shelf of uh, a rack one shelf of tanks there are probably gonna be five maybe six tanks on it all uh, short side out each on one tank, I'm gonna have the con the gang valve. The gang valves are gonna be uh, one gang valve. Gang valve is gonna be going out with tubes to each of the other tanks. Actually, I think I might need another gang valve. I have another one upstairs. Uh, I don't think I did a video on that one. Uh, I'll do it quick. Uh, so anyway, going out to the other tanks, air sponges, sponge filters in each tank. Obviously, you want to keep it simple unless you're some kind of trillionaire. You have a lot of money to throw around for no reason. Uh, so, sponge filters, great on each tank. Air going to each of them. I have a pump, air pump on this. I think it's up to 20 gallons, maybe up to 40. Uh, it works pretty well, as you can see. Uh, especially when it's just one sponge. So, we'll just get like maybe two more of those. Uh, running on each tank. Let's see. That'll work. Then I'll have a, that gang valve on the back of another tank. Each Same thing. Tubes going to each tank. Blah, 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 blah. Except it's not going to sponge filters. Actually, I could do that. I'm not so sure. I don't think I'd do it. But anyway, each tubes going to each tank. Then when I was trying to do a water change, or I want to do it over time, like over a week. Like I did that automatic water change thing video. You can see that on my channel. Uh, I'm not totally sure which one I'm going to do. Well, anyway, so I do that. Then I'm going to take, uh, start a siphon, you know, get some tubing on one end, 
Say the siphon, but suck them through. Cause I have what, almost 50 feet. I bought three of these, or three or four of these. So I had like 75 feet of airline tubing. It's pretty small. Uh, it works though. So I have, so I've used one strand thing of it already. Uh, but I still have enough. And then it's just gonna be going out a door or something, going into my mother's plants, cause she's a plant. I tried to switch her over to aquatic plant. Caught gardening. She didn't. She denied. Anyway, I don't really care. So she has like tomatoes. Like these were once a zucchini that she grew. It was a pretty small zucchini, but anyway, back to the subject. So each so one tube going out to each of her pots. Uh, so over time, feeding the plants. I think I did a video of this or mentioned this already in one of my videos. But when you're uh, if you want to do so, or if you have a garden or you like planting or something, whatever, always use if you and you have a fish tank, obviously. Uh, always use your dirty fish water if you haven't used that many uh, chemicals and stuff. Always use it for water, watering your plants, or yes, yeah, pretty much the only use. Or I guess instant cycling your tank if you have a new tank and you want to set it up quick. So that's one reason, and then. Always, what else? Oh, I forgot. Well, anyway, so fresh water is great for your garden or, or your lawn or whatever if you want to water stuff. So just save it if you're not going to use it now, or if you don't have the space, just put it in a bucket. Just water your your water your grass or whatever. That's it's great. They'll love it because it has a lot of ammonia in it. It's water. Blah blah blah. You can search it off if you want. I'm not going to go through all of it. I, I'm running out of time. Let's see. Plants. I'm definitely going to get some more plants. I'm either going to get uh, one, one of the species of dwarf hair grass. Whatever it was. It was something with... Is it, Oh, I don't really care. Or dwarf sag. Or sag. Dwarf sag looks nice. It looks more like mini Amazon swords on the bottom. I think I'm probably going to get that. Runners are, I like runners. This plant hasn't produced any. I don't know why. I mean, the whole entire life it hasn't produced any runners whatsoever. Maybe it has, I just cut them off by accident. Well, uh, so I'm probably going to get some dwarf sag, make a nice little carpet. Java moss's ca carpet, I know how to do that. Just don't want to do it because it'll catch every all the crap and it'll be hard to clean and blah, blah, blah. Another good thing about a carpet is that you don't have to really change, or... Er, Siphon up your your sand or your gravel, probably your gravel, but not your sand really, because then it just mess it up a little bit. But the plants will eat all the bad stuff. You don't really have to worry about that. Uh, that's about it. Let's see. I think I might get some val, some really tall val. I'm not totally sure about that. Baby tears. I've been thinking about that, and then I read it was really hard and it needs high lighting. I mean, I've got good lighting. I just don't want to go through the trouble. And uh, one thing about planted tanks: if you have a whole lot of plants, like Dustin's fish tanks, uh, fish, uh, fish tank TV, or a lot of people have fish tank TV, they'll do do plants. Uh, Though, if you have a lot of plants in your tank, you can have a lot of fish. There's more biological filtration because of the plants, which means there's less ammonia and less nitrites and less nitrates. So you can have, you can almost overload the tank. Like, I, I can still put a lot more fish in here over the limit of the regular in, one inch per gallon thing because I have a lot of plants. If I can get more plants, I could fill the tank back up and then maybe get maybe 20 inches over the actual limit so that's like a lot I, I'm i thinking about getting a, a 90 gallon for my basement I'm not totally sure I'm not where, sure where I'm gonna put it I might just take the 29 gallon put it and replace it make it nice get some sunlight from those two things bamboo probably like it uh... if you have any things about that I would like to know let's just see so, you like the video? Subscribe. I don't care if you don't like them, subscribe. See you next time.